Hello guys and welcome to second video of my PHP tutorial for beginners and in this video I'll show you PHP and ZAMP and basically I will show you where all files on ZAMP are located and how you can access them and where you create a new uh, folder or directory whenever you create new website or you would want to start to create new website for your PHP. And like I mentioned before, you see here down below I have this icon which is orange icon. You should have one of these on your desktop. And when you hover on it, uh, or not hover, when you click on it, you will get this exam control panel. And this is where you can start your Apache server. And as you remember in previous video, I just clicked start here and now it shows stop. And this pretty much starts our Apache server on local computer this basically it's you you kind of how kind of replica of your server like it would be server on web hosting because on web hosting they have servers where you push you put your uh, files of your website and pretty much you can then you add dns or domain name server for your domain name and then you can preview or show websites on internet but this server is locally only for you so you can run your uh, you can run server side applications pretty much on your own computer and then we have started this mysql which is a database or mysql database and as well it, as you see it shows stop here and this means that our server and our mysql server database server because mysql is as well it is kind of database but it is mysql database server it's known as mysql database server software pretty much but however you can think of mysql only as database where which allows you to store data so these are two main things and they has to have to you have to start them whenever you want to use your server or you want to use your MySQL. And when you go to localhost, click on it, and you will see you will be redirected to this page or to any other page. Maybe your installation of XAMPP is older or newer, but however, you will be in, redirected to this particular page. But if you would want to get redirected to your, to your server or uh, uh, my, my, you, to, if you, but if you would want to re get redirect to your database, you would go localhost forward slash php my admin, okay, and click enter, and this will redirect you to your php my admin, which is user interface in, user interface for uh, for databases, and it allows you to create pretty much databases without knowledge of SQL or structured querying language. However, as you see here, we could create database, we could create tables without knowledge of SQL and this is why this is PHP MyAdmin is so powerful. However, you can see here there is SQL tab where you can type in SQL queries and create and uh, query databases from here. However, I will be creating separate tutorial on PHP MyAdmin, so as on pure SQL language, how you can uh, query databases, how you can add records into databases, and how you can retrieve records from databases. And yes, this is your database. And now let's have a look at structure. Where is our exam? And if you open any folder or directory, on the right hand side you will see your this pc or if you are using windows environment and then you will see this windows os or which will bring you to c column backslash directory and here is usually xamp installed by default if you click on it it will open this next one it will be c column or backslash xamp and here you will see htdocs directory. So, and in this htdocs directory, it is where all your directories or all your websites are located. And whenever you click on localhost, uh, when, whenever you enter localhost, it actually redir uh, redirects you to this htdocs. So, let's go into htdocs. And as you know, 
every system on server always if 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 it goes into some directory first thing it reads is index.php file so let's open this index.php file and have a look at it okay I, you don't mind now this php i know that this is php tutorial but this is php script but i just wanted to comment this out and to comment out this in php we use forward slash star sign and at the end we use star sign and back forward slash and let's save this and here under this script now and pretty much what this script does it redirects you to that page where we got redirected whenever we enter the local host it is local host i didn't save that script that's why it still will be redirecting i believe so i didn't i actually saved this and that's why it's not redirected it actually redirected us to this page and i could write here hi hello uh, this is from index file okay so let's save it and now let's go back and let's refresh again and you see hi hello this is from index file so this pretty much means whenever you enter a local host in your browser and when your XAMPP or apache server is started you get all uh, it, it, your whenever your local host is started you get redirected to this HD docs directory. So whenever you will create a new PHP website, you start by creating a directory here, which will be actually your website's name. For example, let's create a new directory here and I will call it hello. Okay, I will call it hello simply. I will call this, this would be website hello, hello. Okay, and then this website hello, I, inside I will create index.php file. Now I will go back to my text editor and here I simply open PHP opening tag and we will look at these tags, you don't mind them now and echo out and this is from hello this is from hello file you just don't mind this code at this time because I'm just showing you file structure but we will talk in depth about PHP opening tags, about echo statements and everything else in future tutorials. But uh, for this, just understand that echo basically outputs something on the screen. So let's save it and let's save it in htdocs directory. And as you remember, it was in, if you go to this PC, then you go to your computer. As you see, it's C at the top, just a second. And then you go to XAMPP and then you go into HD Docs, and here you find your directory hello. And in this directory, double click in and we will create this file index.php and let's save it. Okay, now if, if we go back to our file structure, you, if we click, we, you see that we are now in C, XAMPP, HD Docs, and like I mentioned before, oops, like I mentioned before, htdocs is the directory where all your applications of php php applications will live in XAMPP environment and now if you click into hello you see this index.php file and like i mentioned to you before index file is always the first file every system accesses and like i told you about this it is it is if you come into htdocs it is first first file it accesses was this index .php file where we have written out hi hello this is from index file but now if we would want to go to this website which we created hello we simply go localhost forward slash hello and we could go uh, hello uh, and we could go another forward slash index.php and hit hello and you see this is from hello file this is that file which we created here in this index file, in this hello, direct, hello directory. So this means that all whenever you web, create websites, you just create directories here, or you create folders here in which will be, and in each that folder will be files for that particular website which you will be developing in PHP. So we are now in hello directory in index.php file. We could even skip this index.php because that will be anyway first file 
which will be entered as you see now localhost hello still redirects us to this is from hello file so yes guys this is pretty much where all applications of your exam all your php applications in exam environment lives and this is how you start your php don't forget just to start your apache server don't forget to start your mysql before you start working whenever you are back and then just type in localhost your directory name whenever your application whichever application you would want to work with and just yes that's it to, to get to that application go to localhost application name or from notepad you could run and go to launch in chrome for example it would launch this file in chrome okay you just before all take off this ht docs and whatever is in front and type instead of that local host okay and you will get redirected to that particular file yes guys if you found this video useful as usually please leave a like under this video or subs uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed it as it helps to grow my channel and see you in next video